This lesson focuses on space permissions and page restrictions in Confluence. We are going to learn about levels of administrator accounts and the most common permission use cases which you can use in real life. In Confluence, there exist two levels of permissions which determine the possibility of viewing or editing a particular page at the space level and at the page level. Space permissions show us who has access to the space and what actions within it are available to specific users and user groups. Page permissions define who can watch and edit this or that page. These permissions can be combined in different variants. Some users may not see several spaces at all. Other users are allowed to view a space but they don't have permissions to view several pages within this space. Or no access restrictions are applied to the space and users can view everything. If the user can't view the space, he or she won't find it in the space directory. If the user can view the space but can't view the page, he or she won't find the page in the page tree. Now let's see how the page permissions are distributed. You can set restrictions to edit and view pages. This can be done for an existing page. And for a new page as well. Restrictions on editing and viewing may not always coincide. Someone can edit and someone can just see. These permissions also affect page attachments. If our user has no permission to view the page, he or she won't be able to see its attachments. Even if he or she gets a direct link or tries to follow the attachment link from another page, page not found will always be displayed. If our user has the view page permissions but no edit permissions, he or she can see all attachments, but of course can't load new or delete existing ones. If somebody shares a restricted page with you or mentions you in one, you still won't be able to see it. But you can easily request the permission to view this page. The notification about your request is sent to the last editor of the page who has the ability to grant access permissions, up to 6.7 version of Confluence, or up to 5 people who are most likely to be able to grant access for newer Confluence versions. You can read about the rules how Confluence chooses the order of these people in Atlassian documentation. If the user can't edit the page, he or she won't find the edit button. It's important to note that there are a few different levels of administrator permissions in Confluence. The Confluence Administrators group defines a set of users with the administrative privileges who can access the administration console and perform site-wide administration. Members of this group can also see the content of all pages and spaces in the Confluence instance, regardless of space permissions. System Administrator permissions define who can control system-wide administrative settings. Users with system administrator status 
usually belong to the Confluence Administrators group by default. But if not, they can easily add themselves to this group and see all the content. Confluence Administrator permissions define who can perform most administrative functions, but can perform functions that can compromise the security of the Confluence system. For example, such functionality as external user management, mail service, user macros, custom HTML, backup and restore is disabled in the administration console of Confluence Administrators. You can find more details in the Atlassian documentation if needed. Users with Confluence Administrator status also belong to the Confluence Administrators group by default. But if excluded, they can't add themselves back to this group. So, some spaces or pages can be hidden from Confluence Administrators. Space Administrator permissions define who can perform administrative functions within a specific space only. Space administrators can remove restrictions and see the content of all pages within their space. Summing up, unless these admin users are members of the Confluence Administrators group, they can't see the specific page restricted with the page permissions. Note that granting the Confluence Administrator permission to a user or group is not the same as associating the user with the Confluence Administrators group. Sometimes the similarity of these names can cause confusion. Page restrictions allow you to control who can view and or edit specific pages in a space. You can add restrictions for individuals or for confluence groups. View restrictions are inherited, which means a restriction applied to one page will cascade down to any child pages. Edit restrictions are not inherited, which means pages need to be restricted individually. The Restrictions dialog can always tell you when there are inherited restrictions that might affect who can view your page. Child pages inherit view restrictions from the parent page. So, if you restrict viewing for a person or group, they won't be able to see that page and all its child pages. If you give the view permission to a person or group, they will be able to see the page and all its child pages unless additional restrictions are applied to these child pages. Edit restrictions are not inherited, which means that you need to restrict editing for each page individually. These rules are especially important when moving a page across the page tree. There is always a risk to open confidential information or hide what should be seen. Note that a space can have several root pages in its page tree hierarchy. Here we mean that you can easily drag pages to one level with the space home page. Child pages of such root parent pages won't inherit restrictions from the space home page. So you can create several independent page branches with completely different set of restrictions. But pay attention that these additional branches won't be visible in the sidebar. It's necessary to add links to their root pages somewhere. For example, on the space home page. There is also another peculiarity about page restrictions. If a user is listed as the only one person who has access to the page and we disable his or her account, then the page is still restricted and not accessible to anyone. Confluence remembers that such user exists. But what about the delete option? In old Confluence versions up to 6.12, if we delete this user, then the page restrictions are gone and everybody with appropriate space permissions can access the page. So be careful not to open secret information. But from the version 6.13, the page restrictions won't be gone if you delete a user. The username will be changed to an alias and the page will be still locked. A new space is created with the permissions specified in the default space permissions in the admin console. If you edit the default space permissions after creating a space, nothing will be changed for the existing spaces. But all new spaces you create since then will get the modified set of permissions. If a person has the permission to create spaces, he or she can mark a new space as private.
the default space permissions will be ignored and, besides the system administrator, the creator of this private space will be the only user who can access it. You can easily edit sets of permissions for all our spaces. Now let's briefly talk about available permissions. The View All permission allows you to access the content in this space and see it in the space directory and other places like the dashboard. The Delete All permission allows you to delete any page, block, attachment and comment you created in this space, regardless of whether other users have subsequently edited the content. The Add Page or Block permission allows you to edit existing pages or blog posts in this space, assuming they are not restricted for you to edit. You this with only the Add page or blog permissions can still insert existing attached files in the editor and remove files from the editor so they are not displayed on the page or blog post. They can't, however, upload a new file, a new version of the file or delete the attached file itself. The delete pages or block permission is also required to move a page or block to a different space. The add comments permission affects all pages in the space. You can selectively forbid comments on a specific page with the help of standard confluence tools. But there are, for example, a few apps which can hide some functionality on your page, or you can add some special scripts to the page. You can google some variants yourself if interested. The Delete Mail permission allows you to delete mail items that have been archived in this space. This is not a commonly used feature. The Export Space permission allows you to export all the contents of the space to PDF, HTML or XML. This is different from single page exports. Anyone who can view a page can also export it. The Admin Space allows you to access all space administration tools, including things like permissions, templates, look and feel, and the ability to delete the whole space. Space permissions, given to users directly, individually, and to other groups which these users belong to, are addictive. That is, can be combined. You should always remember it. Note that space permissions are granted at the space level, whereas page restrictions are designed to take away said permissions. If the person you've listed as a viewer or editor can't see the page, make sure that he or she has the permission to view the space and there is no view restriction at a higher level of the page hierarchy. The user who has created the space becomes its space administrator automatically. The Confluence Administrator is not automatically a space admin, but the system administrator always is. Maybe it's not clearly visible, but you should remember this fact. As we have mentioned before, the space administrator may not see locked pages, but he or she has the ability to remove page restrictions and see everything. Let's talk about the administration options briefly. So we can see the following categories. Overview Permissions Content Tools Look and Feel and Integrations Now we are going to tell you about some typical permission use cases. The first one is a project. So our space contains all the information required. The project leader is the space administrator. All the teammates working on the project have access to editing and creating new pages. They can also delete their content. It's convenient to create a special group for all the teammates, especially if there are rare changes among your employees. Leading teammates, if there are any, have the permissions to restrict access to pages and delete content. Heads of departments and other persons who can monitor the progress of the project get access to view and comment. 
They can use not only ordinary comments at the bottom of the pages, but also inline comments. Sometimes, especially if the team is rather big, it's useful to install the Talk app, a more powerful tool for inline comments by Stillsoft. This solution allows you to restrict access to specific talks or set global space permissions for appropriate uses or groups. Talk management gets access to view and sometimes to edit. This may depend on how deeply they are involved in the project. They are also set as watches of the key pages where the current status of the project is displayed. The second typical use case is a department or working group. Our space contains all the information required for the work of some department or group. Technically, the use case is pretty similar with the previous one. The head of the department is the space administrator. All permanent employees have the permissions to create and edit content. But there is another category of employees with limited access – on probation, newbies, temporary staff, etc. And this is the main difference from the previous case. Such people have no permission to edit all the pages, but there is a separate sandbox in the space where they can edit pages, keep records and mark their progress. For this purpose, we can use a special branch, a specific page with its child pages in the page tree. These pages can have their own restrictions. Top management and heads of other departments can comment on everything in the space. The third case is a so-called knowledge base – information on general topics, not on a separate project or department. For example, the rules of project management, different instructions, etc. The permission to edit the space is given to people directly if required. The permission to comment is also given directly depending on the situation. The permission to view is granted globally to all the employees. At the end of our lesson, let's sum up the following facts. Space permissions, given to users directly and why the groups which these users belong to, are combined. Page restrictions work differently from space permissions. Pages are open to viewing or editing by default, but you can restrict viewing or editing for certain users or groups. You can restrict viewing of a page or blog post for certain users or groups and they won't be able to view the content in spite of their view permission for the space. Restrictions do not grant the view permission if it was not explicitly set in the space permissions. If certain users or groups can view in the restrictions dialog and don't have view permission for the space, they won't be able to see the page. Confluence macros also take page restrictions into consideration. For example, the children display, include page, page tree and page properties report macros will only display pages available to you there and hide the restricted ones.